From the official television station of Illini Sports, this is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Greetings from Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. I'm Brett Barons live at the popular tourist spot. Is it, a, it is a bustling Friday night here as there is a lot of people taking in what was a beautiful day here in the Bay Area. The Illini were here earlier this afternoon, boarded a boat to Alcatraz. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 10 as they got to experience that popular tourist attraction. And the bull, the bull trip is all about mixing work and play. The Illini will attend a Golden State Warriors game later tonight, but they got their work in this morning, practicing for the first time on the trip over in Oakland at Laney College. That included quarterback Brandon Peters, who is clear to play after missing the regular season finale against Northwestern with his second concussion of the year. The junior says he was good to go the Monday after, meaning he missed the game by only a few days. He's also ready to take the field now after sitting out. The Michigan grad transfer is one of... A few guys on the team to have been in a bowl game before, and he says he wants to send the seniors out the right way. A lot of the older guys that have been here, you know, they haven't had the chance to play in a bowl game, and, you know, being that contributing factor at the quarterback position to get them here, I mean, I mean, it's just really cool to see how excited all of them are. Um, you know, smiles on their face. Um, you know, that's going to be a, the, the right way to send them out. Illinois is 6-4 when Peters starts, and the biggest reason the Illini offense was able to do what it did this season. Now, the defense is certainly going to need to play well, too, for the Illini to have a chance to beat Cal in the Red Box Bowl. And forcing turnover, something that's been a staple for Lovey Smith and the team this season. It's one of the biggest reasons the Illini offense was able to do what it did, because the defense bailed them out. Getting pressure on the quarterback is the job of defensive line coach Austin Clark, who is a California alum. He played for the Golden Bears earlier this decade, so this game will mean a lot to him going up against his alma mater. He's one of several Illini with area ties here in the Bay. Milo Eifler, Delano Ware both grew up here, but Clark says he's just focused on getting the Illinois Bull win. The first one it would be since 2011. What's the next team to beat? Um, you know, th th this bowl game, you know, people text you, my fiance went there also. She, she, played, she right? played volleyball okay. there. Um, and it's just another game for us. You know, yeah, you know, you know a few people that are sure. maybe on the staff or stuff like that, but uh, fired up. You know, we, we got to get this one for sure. Clark is missing one of his key playmakers this season. In defensive end Bobby Roundtree, who suffered that serious spine injury in May. A couple of the Alana actually spent Christmas Day up in Chicago with Roundtree to give him a little bit of a pet boost. They were hoping to get him out here to California to enjoy this experience with the team, but that is not going to happen. We'll hear from the Alana coming up tonight at 10 about what that meant for them and what it meant for Bobby to share Christmas Day together. Paul? Now, Brett, this obviously is an exciting time for the, the players and the coaches. They get to experience some of the sights and sounds, as you mentioned, but obviously they have to be able to reel it in. They've got a curfew that they have to adhere to. Has Coach said anything about keeping the players in check while they're out in California? Yeah, it's just that mix, right? And it's a tough one to get a hold of, especially for players that have not been to a bowl game before, and there are not many. But Lovey said, hey, look, he wants his team to enjoy this. That's part of the bowl game experience. This is a reward for them. They worked all season to get to 6-6 six and six and to be able to experience this together. So I think they'll be okay, as Lovey is notorious for keeping his guys under wraps and, and running a clean program. That's going to do it for us for now. We'll have more at 10. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Brett Behrens. We'll send it back to you. All right, Brett, we'll look forward to hearing from you at 10 o'clock. Thanks.